Have you ever wondered why sequins are the perfect party piece for we women over 50? Well, probably not. I don't blame you, but now I've mentioned it, you might be. Stick around because I am going to spill those sequins, those beans, and give you that info. And it's worth knowing. I have a few items I've picked up recently to share with you, and the first is this lovely jacket top that I'm wearing at the moment. And this is a moto jacket style, but done up like this, I'm wearing it as a top. Equally, as I said, yes, yes, wear it as a jacket. Really, you're going to shine at that party either way. To be honest, you're going to shine brighter than a 1970s disco ball. And let's say that's a good thing. Now, this is from Sasanda, and it is actually very, very similar to a top that I already have, a V-neck uh, sleeveless vest type top, camisole type top. So this must be this year's version. The sequins and the colouring is, is identical. Now, this jacket is great for petites, and I will demonstrate that later on. It's also great for regular sizes. Really, really pretty warm silver which is just so fluttering for us see that sparkle my goodness no, look, look i'll do that again hey see see what i mean there gosh anyway beautiful color beautiful now i've tried it on with a navy top and some navy trousers because i think this color looks so beautiful with navy and navy's softer than black, so it's not so much those traditional Christmas looks. And I think it's a, sort of being softer, it's more flattering on us. And a great actual New Year's Eve colour combination as well, I feel, navy and silver. And I've popped on some metallic shoes just to, you know, I'll and sell out. So we've got the sandwich, you know, we've got the silver up here and we've got the silver down there. And I'm shining so brightly as that 1970s disco ball. You can barely see me, can you, in this room? You can barely see me. Now, this jacket can also, of course, be paired with a skirt. And um, what I have in my wardrobe is sort of a maxi skirt, midi skirt. I mean, it's a maxi pleated velvet skirt in black. And I'm using boots. But think of your shoes as interchangeable. Whichever outfit you're wearing. You know, it can be shoes. It can be boots. It can be sandals. It could be, if you wanted to, flip flops. Up to you. Your outfit, your party, you're going to. Now, I asked you on your own why you'd want to wear sequins for holidays. It's because sparkle just lifts our ageing faces. That reflection will take 10 years off you. Or 10 years off me, figuratively speaking. And with the holidays, we've got that perfect excuse to have such a facelift as we're going out and about. Now, sequin adventure continues with a blouse from Mark Suspensers. And... Is a blouse very similar, very, very similar in colouring to the sequin. Look, you can but you can't see this, can you? You can't see the separation. There's so much sparkle on sparkle can be for me. But that's aside, imagine you can see the difference. <laughs> we have got a blouse from Marks and Spencer's that has an ombre design down the bottom and it's got lining inside. That's it. Yes, it's lined inside. And this is uh, 49 power 50. Now, I've got in a size 6. That's the colour on a shirt, uh, size I'm sharing. It's in, collared, uh, a really pretty warm sequin blouse. Ombre sleeves as well. Now, remember those anti-aging benefits I mentioned? And just think about it. Why are reflective particles put into face creams? Huh? Just think. You want the sequins. And you have a spare fortune of face creams. But back to the point. I've used this with black trousers because being ombre and black ombre here, then it really will only go with either the sort of beigey colour or black or another neutral. But not, not you know, it's not really going to go with navy. So I, I wanted to wear this with, with black. So black velvet trousers and metallic heel to finish up, off. it is a beautiful blouse that can be tucked in or worn loose or front tucked, whichever way you want to wear it. And I know a lot of you don't like your tucking in or your front tucks, but it's shaped so well and so flatteringly in such a flattering way that 
it is going to look absolutely fabulous untucked. Now, the trousers that I am sharing this with are very old in my wardrobe. They're velvet, and I would say if you have not got any velvet trousers for the holiday season, they are just so useful. I've had mine a number of years, but they have to go now. They're low-rise. They're not... No, I feel like I need to pull them up all the time. You know that effect you get with low-rise. They're not suiting me in that way, but I've got lots of use out of them. And I am now on the lookout for some more. I hope I can find more and I will list them down below as I am hunting for some to replace mine with. But black velvet trousers are a must for every festive wardrobe for a woman, I think. Now, before we bedazzle further, just drop me a like and subscribe so, so you can keep up to date with fashion do's and don'ts that I generate on this channel now the bomber jacket this is mark suspensers and with mark suspensers i can list for australia canada us and so on as well as uk so um don't worry about that now this is a silver color as opposed to this you can see the difference can't you it is lined with black it is zip and um so you know functional zip now, bomber jackets are very current at the moment, just like motor jackets as, as well. And this is being seen in the Marks and Spencer's adverts and so on as, at the moment. But being black, it's, you can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with black jeans or indigo jeans, absolutely fine. But for a smarter look, you're going to wear it with black. Now, I would say that this jacket would really suit better um, regular height people than uh, my five foot two. Because of me, it comes to around about the bottom of my hips, but on regular height people, I've, I've seen on adverts and so on on Instagram, it's coming to really the, the bottom of their waist. And that's more proportional. So for outfit ideas, I'm sharing it with a black silk top and, my black, and a black velvet skirt and boots and with trousers. You can see what I mean about the jacket swamping my frame on either look with a trousers or a skirt. But it's a lovely warm jacket as well. Perfect layering piece. You can just put a nice little black camisole under here. Wear this as your layering item with the sequins on, on it as well. And that's your parting piece as well as keeping you warm. Fabulous. For me, as petite, five foot two, and for other petites, if I compare the bomber jacket with me and the moto jacket, you can see the difference. The moto jacket is coming to a much better place on my, my height than the bomber jacket. And it's not being so full as well. It's actually making me slimmer and taller looking than the bomber jacket. Now, before we come on to a gorgeous skirt, I do want to show you, as I mentioned it, a top I bought last year from the Sasanda. And it is, as I said, it's the same as this, this one. Now, this, this little top I bought last year in sequins, I've actually had an awful lot. It's still available, so I will list it down below. But I have had a lot of use out of it. It's one of those things you can wear with jeans and you can wear with um, a skirt. You can wear with smart trousers in the winter. We're going to summer going to party. You're just thinking, well, what am I going to wear? I need to be dressed up, but I don't need to be dressed up. Or I do need to be dressed up, but I want to be smart, casual. What can I wear? And this has been so useful. So I wore it, um, for instance, I've worn it with jeans and a cardigan going to um, a sort of event at someone's house for an evening. And, you know, so dress up, dress down time. Dress up jeans, dress down sequins. Basically, I suppose that was. And then another time I wore it this month in November was going to a reception in London. And I paired that then with some black trousers and a velvet jacket and a choker because big, bold jewellery is coming back into fashion. If you want to know about that, then there's a video here. But you've big, bold jewellery. And I've had this choker for years and years and um, wore that on with this. Uh, and loved the look now would i wear these two together as they're matchy matchy i don't know let's go and see but i do have a website i keep up to date with items so whenever you're watching this video click on the website here my my scan this you will go and see what's currently in the in the shops that you can shop do you remember that 1970s glitter ball that i mentioned there's sparkles all around the room here that, that you probably can't see. But I just, yeah, I don't think I would. I don't think I would, no. It's lovely and warm together, actually. But no, I don't need this jacket to go over this top. One, one piece of sparkle like this is 
enough. Unless you're going to a fancy dress party and everybody is really going overboard, that would be fun. I mean, it's a fun piece, yes, fun, fun two items, yes. But on the whole, no. Right, so that aside, I'm going to stay in it because it's all this lovely reflection, all this sparkle sort of lifting my face. Let's talk about the skirt. This skirt, it is fabulous even for petites. It's a slightly golder metallic than the silver in this jacket here. This, because this is not really, this is sort of silver gold cross. And um, yeah, that's, that's more distinctly gold there. But even for we petites, it's okay. We don't need to take it up. It's really a maxi on me. And on regular height people, it's a midi. It's elasticated, elasticated, no, it's not elasticated, a zip at the back. And um, it's a pencil skirt, long maxi pencil skirt, which is fashionable. The slit at the back is not too high. We don't need to worry about that. Lovely, lovely, pretty, pretty skirt. Now, a skirt like this can be worn with boots. It can be worn with metallic shoes. It can be worn with sandals. It could be worn with bare feet on the sand if you wanted to or grab those flip-flops again. You know, it's how you want to wear it, but it's versatile, very versatile. And it can be worn smart paired with you know, a silk top and a blazer or a jacket. And it could look good, just as good with a sweater, with, wear it with a knit of some sort, you know, a lovely chunky cardigan for a polo neck jumper, turtle neck jumper, you know, wear it with a piece of cashmere if you want to impress. Now, then, when would I wear sequins? I am very much an after-dark person. Yes, it would be. I feel like during the day, generally, sequins would be un overdone. I'm, I'm a put them on after dark, going to an event. But the exception to that would be if I was going to an, a festive or New Year's event of some sort, or a very, very smart event that is lunchtime or afternoon and it's still daylight, then I, then I would as well. Other than that, I am not one for... See, I, you know, I'll underwear sequins with a cardigan or with a jumper, you know, or jeans. That's fine. I'm happy dressing down sequins, but I do feel mostly after dark. And remember also that sequins are really useful in the summer for resort weather. They really are. Now, drop a comment below telling me your favourite piece I'm showing you after this collection, including what I'm wearing at the moment, and how you would wear sequins or like to wear sequins or want to try to wear sequins if you already don't wear them. But if you want to see some more Christmas outfits, then you'll want this video.